how real do you want this story to be? <laughs> it could be pretty real. Hi fam, it's Jo and Brent and today we will be discussing what it was like moving in and living together for the first time. Oh boy, <laughs> buckle up! <laughs> so I think it would be good to maybe start from like what made us move in with each other in the first place. So we've been dating for a couple years and I had been living in the suburbs outside of Philly. Joe was living in Center City and Joe's lease was up. Mm -hmm. so yeah, basically our landlord was like, hey, guess what? I'm moving in in a couple months, so we're, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> um, and I lived with roommates at the time who were amazing, um, but they had actually gotten engaged to each other. Rightfully so, they were like, hey, we think we're probably gonna live together on our own <laughs> after this. So we decided to move in together. And I think we both had very different feelings about that at the time. Joseph, maybe let's start with you. Okay, How are you feeling? Me. I, well, I'll fully admit that I was a little pushy in a very gentle way. <laughs> That's how I push. <laughs> very gently. Uh -huh, gentle. <laughs> it always feels gentle to me. Does it not feel gentle to you? <laughs> <laughs> so I had just assumed, I was like, okay, it's been a couple years at this point, like, it's gonna happen. And I was ready for it. I was feeling... <laughs> okay, in all honesty, I was not maybe as 100% in as Brett was. I was maybe like... 30%? That is a lower number than I thought you were gonna say. 30?! <laughs> Okay, and here's the reason why. Please understand when we say that Brent lives in the, lived in the suburbs, like he lived in like, like farmland. Okay, like, this wasn't Lancaster. My neighbors weren't driving a horse and buggy. Okay, that's true, that's true. But like, in all honesty, I, it was very much the suburbs. Like more, more suburban, honestly, than even where I felt like I lived growing up. Which, yeah, definitely. Which felt suburban. <laughs> like, <laughs> And, and I had lived, I went to college in the city, I lived in the city after college, and so I, I've i just been so used to like living in the city for so many years that I loved it. I loved everything about being in the city. I also felt like I, I was more connected to people and to diversity that I had not seen growing up living in the suburbs where we did, it was predominantly white. Having like a queer space um, in the city was like, really huge to me. So like, I didn't want to give any of that up. I have never been a city person, but when we started dating, I got, I found more joy in the city and saw the benefits of it. But my job was still in the suburbs yeah. outside. And that was the big thing for me. Yeah. Like if I hadn't had that commute, I would have maybe considered, but I was like, there's no way I'm going to be driving on 76 to and from my job every day, an hour plus each direction. I'm yeah. not doing that. And it wasn't fair to of me to expect that from him either. Well, we ended up deciding that we would find a space in the middle. Yeah. Right? And so I went through, found a list of 10 different places. This is the one time in our lives I was spreadsheet girl and not Joe. And put together a place, we, we saw, actually it might have been more than 10 places. We saw 10 to 12 places in one day. Found a place we really loved that was about halfway in the middle for both of us, right? By a train station for you and about a 30 minute drive to my job for me. So we signed the lease and we put the deposit down. Mm -hmm. And so we knew like, this is it. We are definitely moving in together. And it was both of our, we had both had roommates, but this was yes. both of our first times moving in with a significant other. So did you have any concerns like going into us moving in together? I gotta be honest with you, I had absolutely zero concerns. And looking back at the naivete of little Brent, who just was like, this is gonna be sunshine, rainbows and unicorns. I was just, I was so excited to spend more quality time with you, like to come home from the end of a work day and have you there, to not sit on the train into Philly every weekend. Like I just, sure. uh, I was so, so ready for it. In contrast, <laughs> how were you feeling? Did you have any concerns? <laughs> uh, I had just like a few. <laughs> I was definitely concerned about like what it was going to be like to mesh together. Definitely like I'm not used to having to compromise my space. And so like, what was that going to be like? One of the first things I remember about like talking about moving in was like, what is the space going to look like? Oh. And I, I am the kind of person, like, I love 
I, I'm all about the aesthetic. I'm all about the vibe when you enter space. I want it to be like calm and just a place that's peaceful and like super neutral. And so I want grays and whites and like creams. I don't know. It, ask me about my aesthetic. I don't want to. No, ask me. <laughs> Hot pink, rainbows, polka dots, bright colors everywhere. We are going into a space together, trying to figure out how those decor aesthetics were going to meld and if they would at all. <laughs> we like figured out an aesthetic that worked for the both of us. We figured out Joe's aesthetic. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa. So that leads to we moved in together. Yes. What was that like? It, from your eyes, like what was that experience of like now having to merge like both of our lives into like kind of one in this one space? Uh, right away, very exciting. I was very excited and so like felt good from the start. I think the biggest challenge for me was our sleep schedules. Yeah, yeah. It was that I was in bed by 9.30. 9.30 y'all. And Joe was in bed by question mark. <laughs> Sometime after midnight. So what happened was when we first moved in together, I felt like I needed to adapt to Joe's schedule because I like really wanted to be with you. I had FOMO, like the idea of going to bed before you, every time we hung out previously, it was like we would go to bed at the same time because we'd hang out on a weekend. So you were inclined to stay up late and I was like, I guess I'm staying up late too. And then I was exhausted. Sleep deprived. <laughs> Sleep deprived and going to work with three and four year olds on like five hours of sleep, which did not work for me. Yeah. Did, were there times where I made you come to bed early or you tried to come to bed early? I think I did try to go to bed early. I tried and then would just be on my phone for like three hours until I thought. I really thought I was gonna improve your life by getting you on a more normal sleep schedule. I was like, man, he's gonna love going to bed early, waking up feeling refreshed. That was not the case. Could not be, good. nope. So now, I mean, we've been together, living together for a very long time and I will go to bed when I go to bed, 9.30, 10, and Joe will come to bed when he comes to bed. And so that was just an, an expectation I had to adjust. And now it's fine, it's very normal. Yeah. He will come to bed and kiss me goodnight every night. And then he goes and does his thing, it's very sweet. When we moved in together, we moved into a two bed, two bath apartment. And I'm very glad <laughs> that we did because we shared a bathroom for a month or two. And then I was like, nah, I got my own bathroom, I'm good. Do you know a really weird thing that we did when we first moved in together? Hmm. We showered together all the time. Oh my gosh, I you forgot about that. that. Like, I legit just thought that's what couples did. Oh. I legit just thought couples always showered together and that was just a thing. And so I was like, oh yeah, this makes sense. To, to me, it felt like kind of like, oh, like a, a fantasy that like, why wouldn't we do that if we're together? Like how cute and like sexy and like, and most of the times it wasn't. It was just very much like showering side by side. Yeah, like in the shower. It, sometimes in like silence, we're just like, <laughs> just like. But we did it for a while, and it was a weird like cycle to break because we had started it at the very beginning, yeah. and then all of a sudden I would. I think probably you were like, "Do you remember?" Yeah. No. What, you remember? I remember what I was feeling, and me being the one being like. I'm gonna stop showering together. <laughs> One of the challenges that I noticed about living with you was after a certain period of time, mm -hmm. I started realizing like, oh, I don't have me time yeah. really anymore. You know, even though you went to bed early and I had some of those hours like at night, it still didn't feel like it was fully enough of just like me time, especially yeah. because by that point I was like winding down, I was tired and ready to go to bed. And so, I, when I recognize like this feeling of like, I need more time to myself because I, Brent and I are together constantly. Yeah. I, I realized like one of the ways that I could do that was just by showering on my own and being able to sing in the shower when I wanted to sing and like also being able to like just do, I don't know, whatever in the shower. I still day. feel really good about the decisions we made, even though I was naive about it at the time. Yeah. How about you? Would you change it? I don't think I would, in all honesty. We made such a great life there. Yeah. Um, and I learned to like, love it. And I loved it. I mean, I loved it honestly more than I loved this living in the city. I think we're both building our way towards a, something now where we find stability in each other and in ourselves, in our routines, our yeah. separate routines. And that feels a lot more healthy than when we first entered into this. <laughs> yeah. I love you. I love living with you. You are such a, A, you're very clean. You are. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you are just like a thoughtful, generous person with your time and your space. I never have more fun than when I'm with you. And so getting to be with you all the time just is like maximum fun. You've made this space just feel so safe. I feel so safe with you. And also I feel like I can be my absolute disgusting, <laughs> silliest Never disgusting, self. But, silly. but seriously, like I feel like I can be whatever I want to be in front of you and, and it's you're it's fine. Well I love getting to see your truest, silliest self, and I'm excited to do that for the rest of our lives. Yay! <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we make new videos every Friday, and so we will see you then. Thank you all. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Love you.